We're on a direct path to our extreme wrath. We have selected the highest level on the vehicle, high level two. It means that we have a ground clearance of 26.8 centimeters. We're driving the car all the way up. Park distance control is deactivated. It's important that we remain inside the two rails that we've specified and that the vehicle drives steadily upwards. Don't rev the vehicle. Maintain a constant pressure on the accelerator pedal. We'll now demonstrate the hill stop assist feature. I take my foot off the accelerator, but don't touch the brakes. The hold symbol appears in the instrument cluster. That is, the vehicle is automatically holding us here on the hill if a gradient is detected. We're also using the Porsche hill control feature here. Information in the instrument cluster indicates that Porsche hill control is running in the background. We start to roll along the gradient. Position the car on the gradient, but remain stationary there. The system specifies a starting speed of three kilometers per hour, which is two miles per hour. It works at speeds from three to a maximum of 30 kilometers per hour or two to 20 miles per hour. I take my foot off the brakes and the vehicle travels at three kilometers per hour, two miles per hour. If I touch the accelerator pedal now, I can increase the speed. I've now increased it to nine kilometers per hour or six miles per hour, and the speed will be maintained. We are now driving up the embankment section. Nice and slow, keeping my foot constantly on the accelerator pedal. We drive left around the bend on this level. Very gently, not too much acceleration. When the car is level again, we steer straight ahead and drive down. To start with, we had a gradient, the extreme gradient, on a firm surface. Now we have the situation on an unpaved surface. To do this, we move the vehicle to the highest level. We wait until the system has selected the highest level. We move up the hill nice and steadily. The active all-wheel drive system distributes the torque among the wheels. So we're on the embankment section again, with unpaved surface. Porsche hill control is active. However, it only engages as long as the vehicle recognizes a gradient. We move along very slowly here. The surface is quite loose. feel how the vehicle has distributed the force over the front wheels. Now we're driving over this former military bridge. Porsche Hill Control engages here once again. The vehicle leads us down at three kilometers per hour or two miles per hour. We could also increase the speed using the accelerator pedal, but in these extreme off-road situations, three kilometers per hour or two miles per hour is just fine for us. <laughs> 